Hello, hello. Welcome back. Pro Cycling Manager 2019 with Project Slipstream. We are riding as Max Venturi and we're midway through the tour of Bretag Cyclist. A tour that we are currently leading. If we go and have a look at the results midway through the tour at this point, or that one there, and in the general classification, we are a minute ahead of our teammate Nicolò Bonifazio with four stages down of seven, is it a seven stage tour, I think, off the top of my head. Let's have a look at the calendar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven tours, yeah. Uh, seven stages, rather. All oh, right, so we're about to jump into the next of those. We finished, I think, 13th on the stage yesterday. Uh, we've got a day of climbing ahead of us. Nothing particularly big. A couple of sprint points along the way. I think it's a day to sit in the bunch and just conserve what we've got. A couple of lumps towards the end, but uh, let's get going. So it is race day again. We've been asked to retain the jersey and fight for the GC. We've got a teammate to help us along the way here as well. I think to start with, we are just going to sit towards the front of the group and let this stage more or less play out around us. So there's going to be a couple of breaks that, that go here, and that's okay. We don't need to worry too much about those. Who's going up there? 12 minutes down. Six minutes down. Yeah, no, we really need to be too concerned about getting away at this point. In fact, it's interesting to see that uh, we're on the front riding looking to almost pig back the, uh, <laughs> the breakaway. So... Hmm. Let's see, we're just going to sit in the group. It's not a particularly long stage, only about 165, 100, oh, 170 kilometers thereabouts. Some interesting little climbs towards the back end, some short, sharp stuff. Again, nothing we need to be too concerned about, I don't think. Interesting little descent on the way in as well. Perhaps an attack on that might uh, <laughs> might be interesting, but... I don't think we really need to be too concerned. Let's turn on our little notification so we know who's who. And let's have a look. Uh, Lorenzo Martin is our sort of main rival. Uh, and then front the sex Caesar. We are up towards the front where we want to be. Gordine is in the train helping with the pace, making that early break has come back to us as well. We're already starting to climb here. It's going to get quite steep in a little bit, actually, isn't it? We're going to go up this little rise and then uh, then descend briefly, and then it's going to be quite steep there at about, what's that, the 16-kilometer mark? Hmm. Uh, Okay, all right. Well, let's uh, let's see how that plays out. Then, uh, ultimately, this race, this stage, is not one that really we've got a chance of of winning. It's more a case of sitting in the bunch and uh, and not losing any time in this one. So let's uh, let's see how we do on that. Fourteen percent gradient. That's going to hurt the legs. Certainly not one that, uh, if I was riding, would enjoy. Climbing was really not my specialty, I must admit. But uh, let's spin this on and see how we go. Okay, so we are entering the business end of the stage. We're about 30 kilometers from the flag. We're just hitting these little lumps on the way in. And the reason I've slowed it down is that because this is pretty much the finishing circuit, I want to have a look at the finale basically so we've just come over the finish line so this is uh, about a five kilometer circuit by from what I can gather so five kilometers from home and we are climbing we're going to hit this little false flat it's a bit of a drag 
really. And I've got another little climb. And then a descent. And then the descent takes us basically into a flat. And the finish we ride through a barrier. That's exciting, isn't it? And uh, there's the Flum Rouge. Quite a... Uh, still descending, actually, a little bit. It's only really flat as we come into that finishing stretch. So that's going to be interesting. Just going to make sure that we are being protected here. Even at this late stage, I think it's important that we've got some protection from our team. So this is realistically too far out to attack, I think. But you're going to have to use a lot of energy here. And then it's a long way to ride. It's, it's, it's sort of false flight that it's about 1%. It was small descent, not really enough to, to talk about. Then a tiny little climb. It's about 4%, but again, not enough to attack over. Hmm... Yeah, I don't I don't know that an attack is is the best way to play this one. It might be that we are better served just rolling to the line and seeing what we can do perhaps on the descent. But we're going to want to be at the very very front of this race. We've just about pulled the uh, the brake in in fact there are the two breakaway riders they're done for the day in a group of 90 odd riders I imagine that that'll probably dwindle a little bit as those early uh, breakaway riders pl plummet through the uh, the group I'm just going to pause this because I want to move up a little bit further I'm I'm not high enough up, in my opinion. I'm just going to follow Bonifazio. He's won a stage in a sprint. We don't have much of a sprint, but uh, we're sort of being hung out to dry a little bit as well around the outside. We've got to get a little bit further forward. I'm going to use our gel a little bit later here as well because we are going to be climbing at five kilometers to go as we complete this final circuit so final five kilometers to go is just about yeah here just as we start this climb so we're going to be delayed a little bit but this is a fast run in hmm it's going to be fast running. Okay, I'm going to use our gel now. Bonfazio is moving forward, which is good. There's a... Was that an attack? No, it's just an acceleration. We're at the front end of the race. That's good. Going up, where are we? We're just about to begin the descent, so we can probably sprint from here. You know, we probably could. Our gel is active, so I think we sprint. It's a long way out, but uh, that's okay. So Bonfazio is going to get third on the stage. That's not a bad thing for for us. We finish in seventh overall. We could have probably finished with a little bit too much energy in the end. We could have gone a little bit earlier, but that's okay. I don't think in terms of the GC that's going to change anything. So we should still be in the yellow jersey come tomorrow. So there are the... Stage results and in the GC, we've lost another four seconds, but that's okay. We're still holding on to our GC lead. We're also leading the team's classification and the under-25s. 
we're nowhere in uh, the sprint or the climbing classification. We're in the top 10, but uh, Nicolò Bonifazio is riding for the points classification. We just need to hang on, basically. Uh, still leading GC and the young rider, which is uh, positive. The boss is happy. So let's move on to the next stage of the Tour of Britag. So here we go, another largely flat day, a couple of little lumpy bits towards the end, but on the whole, flat, uh, some Category 4, Category 3 climb in there, but 146 kilometres, so quite short is this one. We've got a 56-second lead over our own teammate, so it should hopefully be a good day. They reckon Lorenzo Mansin is the man to beat for this one. On the start line once again, then. And we are charged with retaining the leader of the GC and riding for the GC. Max Venturi. <laughs> Coming to a, the old track stop as we try and follow Bonifacio. The entire peloton has basically gone past us. Whoops. Oh, well. Uh... So we'll jump on Bonifazio's wheel. Uh, again, not really uh, not really much to be done in this one. Maybe a little lump there towards the end. Maybe we'll have a bit of a go there. Uh, what's it, about 144, 145 kilometers from home. So we might see if we can have a bit of a dig there and, and steal a second or two. Ultimately, they reckon Manzin is... Uh, the man for this. He's a minute three down on us, which is positive. Ultimately, you know, we just want to finish in and around those guys. We don't need to worry too much about it. The time bonuses aren't sufficient to really do us any sort of drama. But, uh, yeah. Let's push this one along. And again, it's going to be one of those that it's all going to be done at the end of the race, so let's hurry to that point, shall we? Okay, so inside the last 10 kilometers, we are being pushed a little bit in terms of our energy use. A little uphill climb here, so I'm just going to hold off on using our gel a little bit more than usual. I'll use it now, We're about four kilometers out from the finish. We are aiming to sit on Bonfazio's wheel. Been riding at the front for much of the day. Don't have too much left to attack with, so I think we're just going to sit in the group and uh, and try and follow wheels. Bonifazio is now sprinting, so we're going to go with him, try and finish in this lead group. We're tucked in. Bonifazio is going to win it, which is great for the team. And I'm in that lead group as well, so I should get the same time as Bonifazio finished sixth on the stage. So that should be a good result for the team as a whole and for ourselves individually. We should maintain the yellow jersey with one stage left to run. So it's still in control then of the GC, 46 seconds ahead of our teammate Nicolo Bonifazio. Uh, newcomer Eduard Grozu in third, it was Lorenzo Manzin, so that's changed around a little bit. We are still well in control of the team classification uh, and leading the under 25s as well. So a good day on the bike for us. Again, impressed the manager and picked up a couple more points as well. Let's uh, jump straight into the next day's racing. Uh, I suspect we are going to have to... Oh, hello. We've got buttons. These are the plus symbols which... Previously, I haven't had. So, is there anyone here that I'm really interested in racing with? Not really. Sport Vladarin, Iskido Iskidi, 
There's, there's no one there that's... Hmm... Well, I guess we'll go for uh, Sport Varner and put one in there. That will do. Uh, if we now go back here, accept that, accept that, delete that. Well, there we go. The contacts of interest bug seems, to, for me at least, have, have been resolved. So hopefully it is for you. I had to. to dodge my way through it first time through but I expected to have to do it there because it tended to be on the first of the month that the problem occurred uh, I haven't had to do it that time through so that's a positive thing let's jump straight though into the final day of the tour of Bretag and see if we can hold on for what will be our first tour victory So it's a short stage, looks like there's a bit of a circuit towards the end. Nicola Bonifazio is sitting second in that competition, currently leading the points competition, 18th in the mountains, but there's only a couple of Category 4, a couple of 3 categories, uh, and we're also leading the under 25s, which is good. But let's jump straight into this one and see if we can hang on and take what would be pretty impressive first tour win for Max Venturi. So here we are on the start line for the final days racing the Tour of Bretagne. We are seeking to retain that yellow jersey. We're going to take position on Bonfazio. We'll be protected by Nulu. Today, it is all about reaching the final, just being in the group. If there's a if there's a breakaway that goes, that's actually not even a bad thing for us. Uh, let's turn on our top 10. There is Mansin. Be a bit of a stage for him because he is a little bit of a sprinter. It's a nice little climb with what, about three kilometers to go, which uh, which could be fun. Have a look, see how everyone is faring. So, 143 kilometers of racing. Let's see if we can take the yellow jersey for the first time in our career at the end of a tour. Just under 20 kilometers to go in the Tour of Bretagne Cycliste. And we are sitting at the front end of the main group. There is a group away, three riders in that, about 30 seconds up the road. That's being reeled in, and we should have that in a little bit. Once again, we are wheel sucking our way to the finish. Sitting on Bonifazio, our teammate who's all but wrapped up the points classification. I think he's probably got the points classification, really. Uh, that one there, rather. Uh, yeah, I would say he's probably got, probably got that one wrapped up. So it's now all about me in the yellow jersey. And provided we can sort of sit where we are, I think we're going to do okay on that front. We use the gel at about four and a half kilometers to go, so I'm just going to slow this down so that I've got a chance to react if anything now happens. It's a big old bunch here. As we head towards the finish on our final lap. Short, sharp little climb here. I've seen our heart rate climb up quite significantly. Might even just increase our effort ever so slightly. And by ever so slightly, I mean by about 10% relative right uh, just so that as this accelerates at the front which I kind of expect it to do and lo and behold there it goes we don't lose contact it's now a case of just staying in touch with these guys a 
about one and a half kilometers from the finish. We're going to sprint now. We're going to have a bash. Bonfazio is a much better sprinter than what we are, but we're going to finish in the group. Bonfazio is going to win the stage, second one in a row. Good result for him. We're going to cross the line inside the top 10, and that should be enough to win us the tour. General classification is in, and we've won. 36 seconds, so total direct energy. 1-2. Max Venturi wins the GC. Nicola Bonifazio wins the sprinter's jersey. We don't even figure in the climber's jersey. We also win the under-25s and the team's classification. So a pretty solid result, all told. And uh, what's that? One, two three four stage wins for us as well three for Bonifacio <laughs> and yet he still didn't win the tour which is really solid we've just picked up 60 points towards our next level as well which is great and we've actually just gone up a level as well uh, manager is very happy with us uh, yeah so that's pretty good um, we've now got a school point to and have a look at let's have a look where do we ultimately we want to be a GC rider so if we go stage races what's that do for us we really want to build up the uh, the mountain and hills as much as anything okay so I've decided to go puncture in the end we get a, a bit of a bonus to our hills skill uh, time trial prologue uh, cobbles and sprint all go up a little bit we also get uh, some other skills here that'll just be useful but basically the uh, the stamina resistance recovery stuff is uh, is what I'm interested in just some small bonuses there but that's okay uh, ultimately we're getting some bonuses here which will be useful for us later on so we'll take those let's now go and have a look at our skills uh, we should have a point to uh, to spend here so I've gone for the fitness peak, basically so that when we're uh, when we're in a race, we uh, we're as fit as we possibly can be for as long as we possibly can be. So yeah, that should come back to us. We're basically investing in the future here. Anyway, we've got three victories to our name. The boss is very happy with us. We are level six already, which is great question is what happens next where is our next race uh potentially here in madrid the three-day race uh oh, there's a one-day race coming up a little bit further that's a flat race as well so let's see and uh we'll, we'll, we'll wait and find out what the team sends us on but that's it for this episode this episode i've got my teeth back in there. that's it for this episode if you like what you saw, give us the big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your comments down below as well. And if you liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button, the little bell icon next to it as well, so that every time we publish a new video, you get alerted to it as well. So you don't miss any of the action as we turn Max Venturi from Neo Pro into hopefully a Tour de France stage winner and possibly even a Tour de France GC winner. But as always, thanks very much for your company and keep riding.